Flute Lads. Welcome, a tier of the Hemans and Nissim. To loot lads. Ivan. Now you might be wondering what the hell this is. It, I don't remember how to play it at all, but this is a true roguelike. Now you might be familiar with roguelikes like Rogue Legacy or Rogue uh, Legacy. What's the other one? What's the Risk of Rain? Is a rogue, a rogue Legacy. Rogue Legacy. If you know Rogue Legacy, you'll know this game. Yeah. Except not because it's Absolutely. actually distinctly different. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, so it's roguelike in the fact that the rogue genre is essentially you roll a random character, you go into dungeons and get random loot with randomly generated stuff. And if you die, it's permanently dead. Yeah. Um, in this one, where it's more of a true roguelike, it's that um, in the original game, Rogue, which roguelikes are obviously based off of, wow, what a fucking clever name. Um, when you move, your enemies move. So nothing moves unless you move. So super hot technically is roguelike. Uh, <laughs> it still goes. It's just really slow. Yeah, but like... Uh, technically, yeah. a lot of things are a roguelike if you differ it. Like, if roguelike is just ro like something with aspects to rogue, everything's a roguelike. Like, um, enemies move when you do, super hot, or like turn based stuff, that's a roguelike. Randomized loot and randomized stuff, that's a roguelike. Uh, permadeath, like your character gets deleted. Well, there's an option to turn on the roguelike mode, so. <laughs> okay. What is our name? Uh. Ba, 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 ba. Billiam. I think that's our worst one way. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't possibly have guessed that this day would differ from any other. It began just as always. You woke up at dawn, drove off of a giant spider resting on your face. On your way to work, you had serious trouble avoiding the lions and pythons roaming the wild around the village. After getting kicked by colony masters for being late, you performed your 12-hour routine of climbing trees, gathering bananas, climbing trees, gathering bananas, chasing monks that stole the first gathered bananas, carrying bananas to the village, and trying to look happy when real food was distributed. Finally, we're about to enjoy your free time by taking a quick dip in the nearby Crocodile Bay. However, at this point, something unusual happened. You were summoned in the mansion by a Rochelle Dicis? Dicos? I can't actually parse that because it's... Uh, uh, R-I-C-H-E-L. Yeah. So Rochelle. Yeah. And then Decos. De is that an O or an A? That's an O. Okay. Uh, the Viceroy of the Colony, and we're led directly to him. I have a task for you, citizen, said the viceroy, picking his golden deed. The market price of an arrow is taking a deep dive, and yet the central government is about to raise taxes. I have sent appeals to high priests, Petrus, but received no response. I fear my enemies in Adnum are playing against me, and I accepted my messages before they reach me. I mean, you kind of focus your entire economy on, uh, on bananas. It's the tulip market, dude. It'll never crash. Tulips forever. Diversify your market. Tulips. 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 Dandelions. Put oil. All your money on tulips uh, and ugly PMCs, monkey NFTs. PMs. Oh, never <laughs> mind. I remember uh, PMCs? Nah. Monkey NFTs. There you go. <laughs> no one will ever attack you when you have the power of an NFT. <laughs> That's, that is why you must travel to Atna with a letter I'll give you and deliver it to Petrus directly. Alas, you some have to cross the sea between. Because it's winter, all Atna these ships are trapped by ice and I am none. Therefore, you must venture through the small underwater tunnel connecting islands. It's infested with monsters, but since you have stayed alive here so long, eh, the trip will surely cause you no trouble. I mean, you did dodge giant spiders, monkeys, monkeys. crocodiles. Crocodiles. You were going to swim with the crocodiles. True, true. But you could have had, like, an alliance with them. You've never been so happy. According to the Mansion's Traveling Brochures, Adam is a peaceful but bustling world, world city on a beautiful, snowy fell surrounded by frozen lakes glittering in the Arctic sun just like the diamonds of the Imperial Treasury. Now that you believe... <laughs> Not that you would believe a word. The point is that tomorrow you can finally forget your home and face the untold adventures ahead. This is the equivalent of like you leaving an office and uh, deciding to become uh, the person that goes to Mordor. So welcome. Welcome to the roguelike. So as you can see, our stats are all pretty, except for our left strength. Our left strength is nine. I don't know. It's because our, it's our less dominant hand, but our dexterity is 11. Pick up item is comma. Function cannot be used while in wilderness. Okay, right, we gotta go. Yeah, you need to go into the thing. So, uh, this is the map screen, uh, where you actually go to actual maps. I think we know this. I think that's fine. Yeah, um, how do we f go, uh, down? I assume... It. It's... Yeah. This one. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, we have a puppy! When I played, 
the strongest play, unfortunately, was literally to kick your dog. Is it because it levels up your stats? No, it's because the dog will uh, aggro everything in the dungeon towards you like a true hunter would from World of Warcraft. And then also... Um, the large hedgehog bites Kenny the puppy. It did not hurt. Yeah, I the can't. Large oh, oh, wait, there you we go. displace the puppy. All right, very good. You can defend the dog. Uh, large hedgehog panics. Okay, large hedgehog took off. So, yeah. Um, your best option typically was to kick the dog because the dog won't aggro everything anymore. And, um... I mean, that's, to be fair, a quirky thing about roguelikes where... Uh, it's it not a little nonsensical. Like the optimal play is definitely what you uh, what you don't think about. I think I've just walk out and attack. Yeah, you critically, you do. Yeah, you critically, critically hit the giant mushroom. You hit the giant mushroom. The giant mushroom is squished. Fantastic. Corpse of giant mushrooms lying here. Pick up the corpse. Yeah, yeah. Bottle this is also style brine. roguelike. Anything that's an item is interactable usually and has like a unique purpose. Yeah. Or just useless. Like you can. For example, a two, two bronze, bronze boots. boots. Good lord! How many bronze boots? Both two of them. of them. Yeah. Okay. How do you How equip do an equip? item? Yeah. Um, this is also the unfortunate part about this particular genre of roguelikes, where there's a billion controls. Shift is, is that e. a three kilogram body you're carrying around with you? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so right boot, left boot. There, there go. we go. And we have armor so, value of six. Our agility is low because we're holding a bunch of stuff, but um, we now have a little bit of armor. Is this a weapon? Hellbird? Oh my god. You are. Who's dropping all these items? This is the best. Right hand wield. Um, so yeah, <laughs> when you pick up a corpse, you can wield it as a weapon. It looks like it's in the food section, though. And you so, But you can still put it in your hand and fight with it. You brought a bottle of brine with you. I, I did pick it up off the ground. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah. So now it we have oh, wait, somewhat wait. difficult to use this item, even with two hands. Oh god, yeah, I don't have the strength for it, I guess. I mean you could train it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I don't remember how. Ah, very good. I think it's just hitting things, DBH. Wait, it's somewhat difficult for you to use them with two hands, yes. Okay, continue anyway. Why? Yeah, you have you have your it equipped it's up and in then, the up in yeah. the menu. Cool. There we go. Okay. So a lot of this is just patience and like Broken expensive fabric belt carrying plus one. Okay, stick. Yeah, all right, belt. maybe. There we go. Does that actually adjust anything? It, it's I broken, it's but broken, you get AV1. Yeah. I, I can't see where your AV is. Pervis plant misses me. Punch it. It critically oh bites you. I'm yeah, hurt oh, in the that's chest. unfortunate. So, your head, your chest, and your cock are your three things you have to keep healthy. Your arms. Uh, and legs, you can leave. If you get your legs cut off, you could still finish the dungeon. There we go. There we go. You just you just balked them. So everything so, contextually is down below, by the way. I the am levitating a little hostile because I ate the mushroom. And you shout, "I am invincible!" Yeah. Uh, you rise into the air like a small hot air balloon. You shout, "I am invincible!" And then the zombie approaching from the north. So we're just going to stop eating. Um. I'm gonna pick up the you ate it with, plant. with a mouthful of mushroom. You are currently burdened. Slash zombie advance skill level one with your iron halberd covered with blood. Hey, that misses me. I hit. Oh, it hits me. Okay. That zombie you advance skill level two with your iron halberd. Hey. Oh my god! Zombie slain again. Uh, Honestly, we, we're we're pull, we're we're in the fast lane. This is a very strong start for this game, actually. Yeah, I've had starts in this game where it's literally just I've seen no weapons and had to fist fight my way through the first floor. Oh my god! All right, that's just a lot of mushrooms you're fighting. Uh, that guy just ran. I'm pretty yeah. sure he did not want to stick around. Uh, what was it anyway? Cobalt screams. You killed all my friends. <laughs> Right. Shit, those are my mushroom friends, dude. So we're gonna eat. Uh, does it, do you, I have a you're hunger? currently burdened while the, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just gonna eat that. I have ESP now, by the way. You suddenly feel like being the a tiny part of a great network of in, uh, intelligent minds. So eating stuff will give you magic powers. It's worth it in roguelikes just to do everything you can. A scroll of enchant weapon. What the fuck, dude? How do I enchant weapon? Fly last item inventory equipment. Um, apply item is just A. Just A? So, can I just... You have nothing to apply. So, if I equip it to my left hand, can I... I think you just gotta go in the inventory and, like, use it. Oh, it's better not be, like, a, a cryptid, like, fireball spell or whatever. Okay, if we do that... 
You cannot mm -hmm. use your wielded item. Wielding it with one hand requires 55 strength. Jeez. Yeah, just go to your deck like, inventory instead yeah, of equipping it. Yeah. Inventory total weight is very heavy. I cannot adjust anything. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, so maybe not then. It's a little bit... It's a little bit... Uh... It, it, it requires a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah, the game is not perfect, obviously, but it is very fun. I'm going to ignore the boss of spears. Are we bleeding? No, that's just something. That's just blood. That's just, just someone else's blood. You're you're trying to hit the spider. The spider's scared, oh. dude. The kobold hits you in the right arm. You just ran into the kobold and you deleted him. You critically slashed the kobold. The kobold dies yelling like a tortured hyena. But the large uh, hedgehog bit me in the groin and my groin is bleeding very badly. Oh, no. You were not hurt. Yeah, okay. So we're currently fighting it. As you can see, nothing's happening. You advance a skill level level 4 with your halberd covered in blood. I am dying. You are dying. Several items are lying here. What do we got? Studded armor. A gin bra- What the fuck? So it looks like you bit your head. Like, your, your HP level is down. Your, like, everything's just down for you. I'm gonna eat the kobold. See, uh, when I was playing this game, I didn't know that eating everything was just the play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just eat everything you can. You lose consciousness. You wake up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep eating this kobold. You lose consciousness. You wake up. Another large hedgehog. I finish eating. Okay. <laughs> Gross um, noises. <laughs> that that there you go. Anything else? So nothing absolutely insane I've has happened yet. Two corpses. All right. We're going to put a shield at least on. Can I do that? Uh, Left-handed shield. I uh, can't use your other wheel item. Yeah, okay. yeah, the, yeah. the halberd is for, like forcing you not to. Uh, so you can find a one-handed weapon if you don't want to continue with uh, with halberd. Yeah, but I've all I found so far seems to be like balsa spears, and I think those are also two-handers. That's unfortunate. Yeah. The kobold just kind of screams. That's really The kobold upsetting. slashes you with its iron axe covered with blood. You stab the kobold, you advance the skill level two with pole arms. Uh, so pole arms, and I guess specifically... Um, Oh, you're getting better. Like, your little person icon is now, like, a little bit less red or a little bit less, uh, damaged. He weighed 35. Like, that, that, he's a big kobold. This is, like, all things considered, this is actually going really well yeah, There's for a me. lot of enchanted items in this, like, plus ones and stuff. Like, I'm going from bronze boots to the moon, moon silver, silver boots. Oh my god. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I've got no gauntlets or rings or anything, but, like, I have... Actually, we're gonna go with the Iron Axe. That way we can run the shield. Uh, you haven't gotten any item that can be used for this purpose. Is something difficult for you to wield an item with one hand. Somewhat difficult, but you know what? I'd rather go somewhat difficult than, like, not at all so I can be defensive. Because, my god, I got bit in the groin pretty hard earlier. I mean, yeah, and you're not wearing pants, so, like... <laughs> I have no idea where my dog is. Actually, yeah, where did your dog go? You quarter staff plus one. <laughs> Ooh. A sword and board defensive build or like a magic quarter staff build. Or we could be a wizard if we wanted to. I'm going to pick it up, but yeah. I, magic in this game is uh, detrimental to your health. <laughs> you are I stressed. have gotten... Or scroll teleportation. Speaking of stressful, oh, you no. either go downstairs or you could let Jesus take the wheel. Also, where's your dog? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to pick it up. All right, very good. But if I get hit, that that's... So... I made it to the end of this underground area once, and I got hit by the last boss, and uh, it broke a wand, and the wand exploded. It blew up, like, a quarter of the screen, um, and then uh, I I died. I lost it. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe we'll find uh, Kenny. Uh, Kenny the yeah, dog. Yeah, Kenny the dog. Yeah. A, a whistle. whistle. There you go. Let's blow the whistle, dude. Can I... All right, how do I use, like, stuff in my inventory anyway? Can I at all? I'm pretty sure there's a specific, like, use action. Okay, let's take a look. We to turn... Apply items, zap a wand, read, eat, open, close, search, chat, craft. Taste a bit of liquid is its own button. <laughs> Good lord. Open, close, search, look around, show map, engrave, scratch, chat, craft... Name team members you command. I'm surprised the inventory menu doesn't actually like allow you to select. That seems. Uh, there's also page two of options. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to go to page. There we go. There you go. Offer, Offer to the gods. Offer to gods. Okay. Sit down. There you go. Rest and heal. Oh, save and there's quit. a rest and heal button. I never knew that. 
<laughs> that's unfortunate. Yeah. Because that's all I did was I hit, I get something to eat, I rest and heal, and then I continue. Wielding right hand. Toggle running. Vomit. There's a dedicated vomit button. That's good. That's good. I'm sure there was a just use item button. And I'm pretty sure it was inventory. Maybe I and then press F1. Show help filter and just clear engine navigate. Nothing. Interesting. Your inventory weighs that much. I just want to use it. Do I have to put it in my hand? Uh, maybe? Alright, let's give it a shot. Boom. So how do you use it at that point? Great question. Uh, press A. What do you want to apply? Ooh, I produced an interesting noise. Ooh, you're getting better at this. Someone's gonna get really annoyed by your whistling, dude. That kobold's gonna come back and he's like, You killed my friends! and then cry and run away. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Alright. How do I how do I use scroll? Can you Google that for me? <laughs> Alright, one moment. Ugh. I can't eat them for some reason, so. Oh. I can get that layer right quick. Yeah. Then I put the uh, weapon on. <laughs> Scrolls are items made of parchment which contain magical writing. You release a spell contained it by reading it, but the scroll will vanish. Okay. How do I read? Uh, it's the hotkey. I don't think that's how you read, buddy. <laughs> uh, what's the read button? How many points do you desire? 37 total. Thank you. Eat the mushroom. <laughs> I've got ESP! Open. Read action. Uh... I just put Darth Vader for a second there. I also heard a Homer Simpson woohoo. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> I love roguelikes in general. Like, I want to play Dwarf Fortress, but it's not very, like, viewer friendly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if people are enjoying this, but I love it. Oh my god, we found a scythe? And what looks to be a dragon full helm from uh, RuneScape. A full blooded red helm minus one. All right, maybe not. Maybe you should just ignore that. Hold on. Ivan Hotkey. Hello, what do we got here? A can full of kelp! Alright, I'm in a constant battle with the zombie right now. Oh, what, what is that? Severed left arm of the zombie is lying here. It is not hurt. There we go. Yeah. Zombies are a little nasty. They're also a little burden. A lead shield. shield. Inaccurate, though. Alright, well, never mind. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how do we even know, really? So, um, yeah, you can take like rip body parts off of zombies or, or humanoids and actually wield them as weapons and what's really weird uh, but really fun also is that um, you can if you die in the cave you actually can encounter your own body <clears throat> yeah uh, and your own body could be amazing <laughs> your, yeah, your own body could be from like a mo like if I die here and then I go back in there is a non-zero chance that I find this body and just have all my stuff on me again uh, this one Yes. <laughs> so I'm getting everything except for the control list for Ivan right now. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Broken blood steel axe. Well, it's broken. I'm not going to pick that up. Yeah, but that's sick. Blood steel? I can't fix things. Uh oh. You feel it for yourself oh, in the no web, web and your right arm is stuck. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We're good. We're fine. And, uh, the sprite's kind of a little tiny. Uh, I mean, highlight that. Just just zoom into the, the web when you get stuck in it and you'll you'll figure it out. HP's already has max. One. Okay. Give me the hotkeys, please. I am burdened, though. What can I drop? I guess I don't need the boots anymore. Maybe I don't need the halberd. Uh, yeah, drop the halberd. Unless you're like... I, I don't think you're going to get out Still of burdened. the underground tunnel. No? Unless you, the scroll of teleportation actually does the thing for you. Oh, Jesus. Okay, All yeah. right. what's this? A cheap copy of the left nut of Petrus oh, is lying sick. here. <laughs> Thank God. I was like, we really need more nuts in this playthrough. Corps of a large spider. A can full of kelp front. That's fine. Once I figure out how you can read, this, the playthrough's gonna pop off. Empty vial. Uh oh. Scoblet a skeleton of a goblin berserker. <laughs> How do you know it's a goblin berserker specifically? Right? I mean, it's been transformed to a pile of bones, so really does that matter anymore? Alright, you look like you have something dope on you. Obsidian Bastard Sword minus one. <sighs> Zero to two. Highly accurate, fragile, terrible thing. Alright, um... Mermaid hair belt. 
Fun fact, uh, when I was playing this game previously, I thought the G's meant gold. A banana! What? You work. Okay. You eat the banana. All right. Careful, the banana peel's on the ground. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is <gasps> Nice. Uh, there's a quick equip, but I don't remember what it is. Please, give me the list of things that I can push. Cor corpse cloning slash mirroring technique is uh, <laughs> what I'm in here right Earlier now. Earlier on the list of things to learn than how to use a scroll. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're zombie. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Broken snakeskin belt, garbage, a stick of pine wood. All right, well. Oh, Jesus, that's this? chunky. A wand of webbing. Hmm. I mean, all right, might as well pick up all the uh, all the items as much as possible. Or, well, like, all the magic ones. At least the wand is not, like, wand of fireball, which will kill me immediately. Like, if I fight this goblin, there's a non-zero chance he pokes me, and it just hits the wand, and I die. That's unfortunate. It also could be, like, he just rolls past your armor type of thing. Hmm. Again, this is very heavily into, like, RNG every time you do an action. Including that fountain right there. I've had... A lot of fountains do just nonsense. Also, is that another left nut? Another Petrus? left nut. I'm looking for the right one now. I gotta complete the collection. How do I um, use the fountain? I think it's like the same thing as eat or drink. It is not. Oh, uh, question mark then. We're trying to not have. Uh, read is R, which is. And then drink liquid is you saw it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, let's enchant the maze. Glows briefly red. It feels very warm now. Okay, all right. That seems good. Uh, encrypt the scroll. You can never hope to decipher the top secret message. It's meant to be for Petrus's eyes only. All right. Yeah, that's your quest item. So, do we do it? Might as well. Fuck it. Oh boy, this could teleport me in a wall too. You teleport. Press any key to continue. I'm terrified. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm just back a couple feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, this is, that's just oh, my stuff. This is just your stuff, yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'm just, uh, yes, I'm just over here. Oh, yes, the magic of teleportation. Good lord. All right, uh, yeah, all right. Drink out of that fountain, you can pray to gods. Yeah, so was the, did we figure the drink button? I mean, it was just underneath the read button. D? <laughs> right, question mark. Uh, uh, yeah, capital D. Oh, shit, all right, drink. Want to drink from this fountain? Yes, oh, yeah. we do. Oh, speaking of teleportation! <laughs> this little seems to be somehow alive. You feel like you want to leave it as soon as possible. Oh, no. The fountain sunks you in. You are thrown through a network of tunnels. Suddenly, the wall of the tunnel bursts open and you fly out of the water. A large hedgehog displaces the kobold. God. You are getting bit in the legs, dude. Your moon steel is just not doing anything because of these carnivorous plants. I hate hedgehogs, by the way. <laughs> Apparently that guy doesn't. Your light leg and left leg feel very agile. An ancient altar covered in a strange markings, you manage to decipher them. The altar is dedicated to Valpurus, the king of the gods. Alright. You can pray if you want. Yeah, we're gonna heal my health, cause like... Oh, hell yeah. I just leveled up for resting. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, the carnivorous plants are back. <laughs> Yeah, very All good. All right, now we're just gonna <laughs> <laughs> just gonna rest up. I think right. the carnivorous plants like the bosses nearby, so they're spawning oh, plants. Oh yeah. right, right, right. That is the thing. That I would happens. pray and then see what happens. Okay, what's the pray again? I think it's O. Let me double check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this uh, the screen is gonna be uh, gods. Yeah, offer to gods or pray to gods is P. Pray to gods, shift P. Okay, it's just P. Just P. Yeah, pray to Valparis. Yeah, uh, you've never prayed to this god. Do you really wish the prey? Yeah. You Vital feel like you're not in serious danger. Oh, no. He, he just tried to explode your head. If you look up... Actually, no. He scrambled your brain because your intelligence is now three and your head's almost dead. That's fucked. Okay, Maybe that offer sucks. something to him. I don't know. Deep bronze warhammer. That's probably what hit me in the head. Ah, that's unfortunate. You see, you just have to unhit your head and it'll... uh. What was that? Bear trap? Oh, frig. Yeah, this place is awful. And the door is locked and teleported into a locked room. Can I attack doors? Yes, you can. What's the... What's I think the... it's kick. 
Yes, that's right. Kick. Is this just straight K? Uh, it might be just straight K. Weapon K yeah. skills, yeah. Lock breaks and the door is damaged. There we go. Oh my god, no. Yeah, there's just more shit. Money. Bunny. By Young Mansion female block. carnivorous bunny. Female carnivorous slain. Hooray. Excellent. You oh blocked god. it with your gin shield. Another one. Yeah, this okay. place is all right. bad. All right, all right. What do we got? The first thing you see when you open up the door is two rabbits and a scythe. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that. Uh, you want to seem to be hostile. Uh oh. There's more. You died. No, you're polymorphed. What the fuck? You uh, young male because me and buddy missed you. Your body glows at a crimson light. You transform into a ghost of an honor guard. You touch the young male carnivorous mutant bunny. The young male carnivorous bunny is slain. So yeah, this just kind of happens. Now okay. you're levitating. Now you have infravision. You're burdened because you picked something up as a ghost. I'm pretty sure all your shit is just lying over there. Oh no, you still have it. It's just you're you're a ghost. Huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Hey man. Billiam, the neutral ghost of an honor guard. Uh, okay. I mean, what's uh, what's the worst that could happen? Kobold's attacking you. He's busting ghosts. <laughs> I can walk through walls. It's right. What is that? I don't know, and I don't really want. I to return know. to my true form. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just you. Okay. We don't even recognize okay. you anymore. You are stressed. I am too. Oh no. Oh no! Ooh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, just get out. I gotta just go. Get out. I gotta go. Um, there's a go. lot going on over yeah, there. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. That's another shrine. Looks like. Okay, right, we need to heal up a little bit. Uh, they're just gonna spawn. I know. I'm just gonna rest as long as I can. No, that's just fine. Bunnies. That's just fine. Rabbits, that's yeah. fine. Rabbits in your own blood. You're very hungry. Oh shit! Do I have a camphor kill front? This gross eating noise. Oh, Still hungry though. An uncomfortable uncertainty of who you really are overwhelms you. Because you were a ghost at one point. That is true. Yeah. Ebony helmet. Like, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. oh Jesus. All right. The just boss is real close, isn't it? Yeah. yeah just just leave. Wait, oh. you went up? <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Which so means I, guess I you have to get through this. Now, you could just go back to the fountain and drink it. True enough. You know what? Let's do that. Uh, there. Yeah, you sip the liquid, it'll just pull you in. The water Shit, tastes good. the water good. just tastes good, dude. That's a tasty, tasty water. All right. Oh, well, that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we knew about that. Oh, God. All right, what's over here? You oh, are oh, now... I am... A veteran kamikaze dwarf of uh, Lyrictus. Okay, well... Oh, I can't go... I can't go... Wait. There we go. There you go. There yeah. we go. Fuck the police. Hell yeah. Just go. It's only gonna get worse before it gets better, I yep. think. Yeah. You also should uh, phase in before you turn back. I don't know what's turning you into a ghost. I honestly, great question. That prayed that one time. I am in not good sorts. <laughs> <laughs> you were burdened, exhausted, and also turning into ghosts occasionally. It happens. Uh, I mean, it happens to me eventually. Is Wait, that... there's the puppy. Oh, no, no, it's not Kenny. In fact, you're fighting them. Oh. Sorry. You're supposed to pet dogs. Not... Oh no. Come on, dude. So what's happening here, because we haven't really explained it, we're just kind of going with the flow, is that carnivorous plants are spawning around him because there's a boss nearby that just spawns it occasionally. You have to eat the puppy. You have to eat the dog, uh... You begin eating the corpse of the puppy. You finish eating. Nothing, nothing weird happens. What the fuck? You vomit, you wake up. You are poisoned, burdened, exhausted. Oh, I wasn't supposed to eat the spider. Shit, I... whoopsie daisy. <laughs> just um, soon poison. I'm gonna get attacked by plants, but like maybe I can rest myself a little bit. No, no I am vomiting vomit and, and panicking. Panic. And you're resting? Yes. I'm getting really hungry. I need food real bad. Oh no. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame, huh? You're too scared. Oh god damn it. I'm 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 screwed. You are now very. Oh, you got out. There we you go. Got okay. Yeah, just move forward. Oh, there's the boss. There's the boss. You Jesus are in no Christ. condition to fight him. What is this? Several items. Um, hair cloak. Okay. Bronze. Deep bronze warhammer plus two. Uh, sure. Ring of teleportation. This person just did not. How many bones? I don't want the bones. I want that. I want the ring. Screw it. 
that. Let's go. Alright, equip. Cloak. Yes. Body armor. Armor value 3? Armor value 3. Yeah, that's the same one. That's, it's oh, also that's covered, one in, uh, covered in volume. That's fine. Who knows? Let's just, I, let's have fun. I don't know if that's recommended, but um, you are very hungry. You have to eat something. I don't have anything. Can she eat what the uh, carnivorous up? plants? Bronze hammer. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, uh, no, that's the one thing I can't eat for some reason. Interesting. Two to five, three to seven. Iron mace. Oh, the iron mace is three to seven. It's like it's glowing red. Whoa, dear. We're good. Not very good. Um. Because yeah, we got what did we what did I pick up? Uh, you picked up just um, the the plus two warhammer, the deep bronze warhammer plus two. Oh, deep bronze. No, I thought I picked that up ages ago. The one that hit me in the head. The uh, right below. It's broken. broken. Oh, that's right, it's broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, we're just gonna drop that actually. Broken. I think your best hope is to turn into a ghost and see if you can get to the exit. Yeah. <laughs> or I teleport somewhere else. Is there, is there anything to eat here? Oh, I Cobalt. killed this. That's fresh eating right there, buddy. Very hungry. You lost cautious. God damn it. Eat the corpse. Stop. I'm so hungry, dude. Let me eat the kobold. You keep passing Kiwi. out. Kiwi. Kobold. However, your shield's doing a lot of... Oh, you died. Wait, no? No, I died. You have 31 HP. Uh, critically bites me in the torso. I'm dead. Ah, uh, alright. Fair enough. What a weird game. So, uh, that's Ivan. Do we want to do another run? See if anything wacky happens? Unfortunately, <laughs> you died. Winky face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billiam, with your turn one, 499. There you go. Did you beat our high score? I bet you can't. Get past 500. All right. All right. Let's 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 just take a look around to see what, what else is new. Um... <laughs> you think your celebrity status is just going to get you in? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a fountain. All right, just drink the fountain. It well, tastes, tastes good. good. Uh-oh. Oh, we didn't pick up the lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dark. Foolish me. That's a copper short sword plus one. All right, we need to just immediately equip that. There you go, there you go. Hit him. Uh, I gotta make sure it's equipped. You are also all not in dire- like, you're in dire straits. Already. <laughs> Your final body part's in danger. <laughs> <laughs> you died. You begin eating the corpse of the kobold. Your torso bleeds very badly. You lose control of your legs and fall down. You stop eating. This stuff tastes really funny. You lose consciousness, and the kobold misses you, and you die of a heart attack. So you can see how the game can uh, vary from uh, run to run. You can have an unstoppable, like, you're unkillable until you explode yourself type of run. Kind of like Noida in that way, which is also kind of a roguelike. I walked three steps out this door and died. <laughs> Where's your dog? The dog, I think they ran in the room or something. Like, I have no idea. That's funny as shit, though. <laughs> Why did you name him Ludacris? Well, I don't know. He's There's, a look. You know he's Let's... an artist. He's not someone to go dungeon diving. <laughs> Message history. <laughs> the goal this is you. You die. That's the thing. Like I was just bleeding out the whole time. I, I can't even go back through. Oh, there, oh, there you go. go. There you go. Uh, all right. Where did have... the Kenny the dog go? Large critical spider. You critically slash cobalt. Cobalt dies. I'm like a tortured hyena. Large spider bites me. I vomit. <laughs> I vomit, eating the corpse of the kobold, your torso bleeds very badly, you lose control of your leg, fall down, you stop eating, this stuff tasted really funny, you lose consciousness, the you first die. Thing, the first thing you do is you step out of the door, you see a kobold and a spider, and you decide to eat the kobold. <laughs> I got poisoned by the spider. Um, and then, yeah, I, I just, just, woof. Being fair, if I saw a tasty, tasty kobold in my way, I would also start to eat them immediately. So, like, <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's the start there. <laughs> <laughs> the water tasted good. Fails to open the door. A boiled leather shield is lying there. Kenny the the just opens the door and leaves. I should have picked up the shield. That was it. That was the problem. I mean, you should have done a lot of things, really. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, you died. There you go. <laughs> died of acute poisoning Four while unconsciousness. 14 turns. <laughs> So yeah, you can kind of see the uh, the level of quality and in, in your in your runs you might get 
So uh, yeah, if uh, if you want to have a go, Ivan, you can just Google Ivan game and find it on like GitHub or something like that. It's I think I spent like when we were, when I was really really poor and I had no internet. We had somebody put this on a flash drive for us, and we had a computer that we ran. We played this, and we played Amnesia. Those are the only two games on it. And uh, we had a GameCube with like a couple games on it. And that's how we survived um, when I was very poor, and I I didn't pay any rent when I lived there. But we played a lot of Ivan together. I adore Ivan. I adore a lot of this roguelike stuff. Like Dwarf Fortress is probably my favorite game of all time. Of all time. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, that and Nier Automata, but if I forget about it, I can make it game of my life uh, again. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I like. I recommend Ivan. It's, uh, it's a weird, janky game, but I love this to death. The problem with this particular playthrough in series format is that we did not explain anything. We just kind of wandered in and went, okay, here are the controls, and uh, we're eating kobolds now. <laughs> That's kind of the brilliance of it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, you just walk in and go, all right, what am I doing here? And guess what? You just need to figure out, equip things and eat things. As I've said, I didn't know that eating corpses was kosher. So I yeah. went and actually found cans of food and, like, bananas and stuff. In fact, I remember distinctly, in order to survive down there, I would finish the first floor, go up, go to the shops, because you could visit the village, and steal as much bananas as I can and escape down the water <laughs> path. Um, and I think I got out of there once, and then I did not know what to do and died. Yeah, I've left the tunnel once into the town and didn't make it any much further than that. This game is very difficult, but very, like, it's, I love it. I love the death. As this a note, that teleportation scroll could have just got you to, like, a green zone. Oh, like, it, it could have. It sent me the hell once. <laughs> They're like, no, there were demons everywhere. I could not explain it except for it's green hell. Um, one, one game I played, it's one of my favorite ones, is um, I found my own corpse. I picked up my own corpse. When I ran out of food, I hit my own corpse. I, after I ate my own corpse, I encountered the ghost of myself from an earlier playthrough who was none too happy with me and attacked me. He had a flaming enchanted sword. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. I, I died in that run, I think, because I got poisoned and I couldn't cure it, and I just kept vomiting to death, and I got scared like I did against those plants there, and then I just lost because I couldn't do anything, but I had, like, such Actually, ridiculously strong gear. That's a good point, because you can clone yourself and become your own ally, Yep. but I, if you die, you get to see your own ally, like your, your previous self, and it's not determined whether or not they're friendly. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. they're if they are injured or something, they will just fight you back with whatever gear you had. <laughs> Which, because it's you, it's probably like something fucked up. Like, yeah, I have six wands of fireballs. I have a scroll of polymorph, and I have a flaming sword plus two or some shit. Actually, one of the other times I did find my body, um, I I picked up both arms and wielded them in my right hand. I I put the left arm in the right hand and the le right hand, right arm in the left hand. And I used them as weapons until I actually found a weapon, and it took me a floor. <laughs> I beat to death so many kobolds with my old arms. <laughs> Only in roguelikes can you say that, dude. <laughs> and that, that is why, after 10 year, 11 years of, of not playing this game, I was very excited to play. I think I've been talking about playing this game on the channel for since we started the channel. You just wanted to play Ivan. I love this game. If we, I, I think we can just reintroduce Ivan, like we can take turns playing, for example. Mm. Like, we, we can do this on an occasional Wednesday. Or, like, if we wanted to do it, we could actually just play until we get past the fucking underwater part. Tell everybody about this playthrough of Ivan. If this does numbers, we'll keep playing Ivan, because if not, maybe I'll stream Ivan at some point. Like, I've been waiting to stream Door Fortress again. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's honestly, you can you can interact with the chat a little bit with Door Fortress, because you can name your dwarves after people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can be like, oh, look at this guy. I signed him as a mason, but now he's crying in a river. <laughs> That actually happened once. Uh, I had a guy who, I, because I had the mine right next to the place that we lived, bats and birds would just fly up and peck people. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is actually happened in game. Like, there's descriptions for it and everything, because roguelikes are insanely <laughs> dumbly detailed in specific ways. To the point where a guy literally got his eye poked out. And he <laughs> oh was God. sitting in a bed waiting for care until we moved out into the castle I was building at the time, because he was the mason for it. But because of how the game worked, 
the doctors were too busy fighting off birds and shit that they couldn't treat him. <laughs> so he was just sitting there without an eye, without treatment. Someone was giving him food and water because he <laughs> would have starved to death otherwise. They put like a blanket over themselves so they didn't get pegged and just kind of like drip fed him water and like yeah. got out of the room or something. So we moved into this castle and then we were like, why is this guy doing nothing? Because there's like little job lists and one of them was literally like no action. So I thought... Oh, I just didn't give him enough to do, so I've been loading up all the rest of the masons with their shit to, like, oh, yeah, no, build this wall and build these, like, stone chairs or, like, the stone chest and what have you, just getting them busy and busy and busy <laughs> to see that this mason just wasn't doing anything. And I was like, all right, what is he doing? Where is he? Where's that boy? <laughs> he is in bed, covered in his own blood. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Someone was feeding him and watering him the entire time. But no one wanted to go near the guy. So I finally deactivated the bed that he was laying in because I couldn't get him out otherwise because technically it still thought it was a hospital, like, healthcare area. We had so we had to get someone to pick him up, drag him to the hospital, put him at the hospital to get him treatment, and then all he did was mope around the mines, crying the entire time because oh his, his happiness meter was so negative he could never do anything ever again and then because i needed to prepare for like anything underground i put him in the military and i'm like all right maybe it'll force him to do something and the first thing he did was go fight a troglodyte which oh. broke his arm oh no <laughs> Go, like, go play some roguelikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can do shit like that. It's yeah. fantastic. Anyway, thanks thanks for watching. Just like, comment, subscribe. If people like this, I want it. I, I would like to do more Ivan, but, like, I'll, I'll give it a couple weeks to see we what they say. could force it. I do love forcing things. Yo, uh, next time on Loot Lads, we'll be playing Ivan again. Please don't take that out of context. Next time on Loot Lads, we'll be forcing Ivan. Don't. Don't I don't force next time on Loot Lads, uh, Kenny the dog will like can, we will kick Kenny the dog and listen. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm, joking, I'm, joking, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I wouldn't do that to Kenny, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Better fucking watch yourself, Kenny. The, the not, not dog. dog. <laughs>